all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear please let me know if you have any problem uh you know today we are going to talk about coronavirus and you know for us we as a christians human mankind who is the best to tell us about coronavirus beside the prophet of allah muhammad if you go in youtube you will find the muslims in the last two weeks they made thousands and thousands of videos about the prophet speaking about the coronavirus, not corona beer. Take a note. And you know, the prophet Muhammad, he just added a list, or let's say, to long list of discovery, one more. You know, the prophet Muhammad, he is very good in geography. As an example, he discovered that the Nile River and Euphrates they are in the heaven of Allah in the seven sky. And he saw them when he went there in the top of a flying donkey. Which is absolutely must be true. You know? I mean, who can deny that? And this is Sahih Hadith. The Prophet of Allah, not only he was able to discover like geography stuff, uh, he came with a story in the Quran about there is a dam between the people of Gog and Magog and those people are not human. Even their ears is like a tent. And they are by trillions and billions of people. And nobody, they will not be able to go to us unless they open a hole in the wall. But yet we could not find the wall and we could not find the hole and we could not find the people. The Prophet of Allah, not only he is so good in geography and he discovered where the sun set, uh, he is very good in space. So he was able to find that the sun set in the murky water. And this is scientifically proven to be true. There's a scientist, he, his name is Yama Aidulai Yama from Japan. He approved this and he said this is absolutely true. There's many witnesses and even NASA, they have a telescope, which is trying to get some of the knowledge of the prophet. They were able to find where the sun set and they discover finally that the sun set in a spring of hot boiling water. And the reason it's boiling, because this is where the sun get its heat from. It get cold, jump in the water, get hot, and go back to the sky. Bingo! The Prophet Muhammad, not only he is good in geography and science of uh, rivers and uh, where the sun set, even he knew things which nobody knows. As an example, Prophet Muhammad discovered that the black dog is the devil. which is a proven brother and sisters to be very accurate because according to science black dog is different from the yellow dog what the difference between them the color hello the color is different so if you have a black dog the prophet he taught us that the black dog is the devil himself and i was wondering last time i saw a black dog why he was like looking at me in a weird way huh i thought he was looking at my hamburger it turned to be not. <laughs> he is the devil. So Prophet Muhammad, he have a long history of discoveries. All of them, they are true. This is not about him being evil to the black people or, you know. As an example, Muhammad, he claimed that, uh, sorry, Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. He said that the most person Allah he hate is a man who is a black. Uh-huh. Which is really weird. But the Prophet, he never was wrong. I mean, he will always right. The Prophet Muhammad, he is good in everything. As an example, the Prophet, he discovered that uh, rats, they used to be Jews. And nobody was able to discover this until the Prophet of Allah, he come with such a discovery, which is kind of astonishing, as you say. I mean, who can, who can even debate this issue? Nobody. So the Prophet of Allah, he have a long, 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 long list of discoveries and science. As an example, the Prophet of Allah, he discovered that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. <laughs> if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And that is very helpful, especially for someone like me. And I will tell you why. Because the hadith, not only it says that he will resemble the parent, he give us clear hint or message that he will look like you brother 
And in my case, I don't look good. I don't want my son to look like me. So now I can avoid having sexual intercourse with my wife and have orgasm first. I will force her to have orgasm first. I will scream at her. I will say, you do it first. Then she say, honey, no, you do it first. I say, no, you do it first. Say, honey, come on, you do it first. I say, no, you do it first. You don't understand. If I do it first, the son will look like me. And you know how I look like. And then the wife, she will agree. She said, no way. We don't want that to happen. And she will ask me, where do you get this information from? This is astonishing. And then I will tell her the bad news because she's a Christian. I will tell her Prophet Muhammad. He told me that. Please silence. Stand up. Listen to the wisdom and the knowledge. Now, until now, this guy, he did not tell us about the, the coronavirus. What is the coronavirus in the story? I mean, why you are telling us all this? I'm just preparing you to, 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 to what is coming because the prophet is beyond imagination with his knowledge. The prophet actually, he taught us everything. As an example, it's healthy uh, to have sex with all your wives with one wash which is very practical to save water. Hmm? I mean, imagine how much water we save, brother. All of them, he do intercourse with them, brother. Uh, one of the Muslims, he corrected me supposedly, and he said, not every day, in a day. With one wash? Oh, and why he wash? I mean, he's a clean always. Isn't it he? Clean all the time. Allah will clean him. Actually, the Prophet Muhammad, he did not even have circumcision. Because supposedly Allah did circumcise him virtually. Now, this is very healthy, by the way. You can sleep with 10, 20 women and don't wash. Don't worry about STD and sexual diseases and a problem. No, brother. Don't worry. Be happy. Now, let us go to the coronavirus style. Coronavirus sounds like it's a scary virus. And the Muslims, especially in Arabic, if you, if you search in Arabic, what the Prophet Muhammad told us about coronavirus, you will not believe it. There's thousands of videos, and it is hilarious. Let me show you an example of what the Prophet said about the coronavirus. I don't know where to start. Because you guys, you might not be able to handle the truth. Hmm. Where am I going to start? It's a lot of information. The Muslim they say that the Prophet said, if uh, 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 if uh, if a ta'un, if a ta'un came uh, in a land, don't go to it, and if you are there, don't leave it. And they say this is because this is amazing how he knew. If you leave it, you will spread the virus. If you go, you will get sick. This is what they say. How the Prophet he knew this? <sighs> Let us see. This is an example of the Hadith. The Prophet said, if you get uh, a wind of outer break of a blake in a land, don't enter it, and it if it break out, in a land which you are, don't leave it. But you see, the Muslims don't tell, don't tell us the truth. Muhammad, he is speaking about something totally different. The reason not to leave and the reason to stay and the reason not to go is not what the Muslim says. Let me show you the hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. So here, that will give us a clear message from the Prophet of Allah. The wife of the Prophet asked, Messenger of Allah, Uh, can be prevented by what? 
by taking said by doing this Islam is true okay hold on I will talk about this uh, how to prevent uh, coronavirus just wait the wife of the Prophet asked Mashallah of Allah about the plague he told me that it was a punishment sent by Allah on uh, whom he wished okay hold on it's what it's a punishment But look what Muhammad said. And Allah made it source of mercy for the believers. Like what the heck? Hello? For if one in the time of epidemic plague stay in his country patiently, hoping for Allah reward and believing that nothing will befall him except that what Allah is written for him, he will get reward as a murder. So look what the Muslims, they lie about. They say that the Prophet, when he said that if you are in a country, have a plague, don't leave. This is about health advice. But the fact Muhammad is speaking about totally different story. He is saying to you, stay there so you will die because this will be a mercy for you and you will be considered as a murder. Do you see the fraud? Do you see how they lie? Secondly, how it's a penalty, yet you will be a murderer. Who is the stupid here? So do you see how they fabricate stories out of something stupid? Muhammad is saying, stay in the land. If you are in a land where they have a plague, don't leave it. Not because you will spread the virus, but because Allah will kill you and that will make you a murderer. Did the Christian prince say that? No, it's in front of you. No, see me. It doesn't say that, really. Do you see it? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Secondly, what is the reason for the plague according to the science of the Prophet? Anyone knows? What is the reason for the plague? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? Not even a one Muslim, he knows. The Prophet, he come with an answer. The plague, brothers and sisters, come from the genie. What the genie do? Man, we have a storm here. It's coming crazy. What the genie does? The genie brother, he have a needle. And he put the needle in your skin. And that is called a ta'oon. Brother? Is that true, brother? <laughs> It is what? It is from Wakhzul Jinn. The genie, he have a needle and he push it in your skin and this is what a ta'um. How the Prophet, he was able to discover this. Not only this is from the genie, this is from the enemy of you. The genie enemy. Some Muslims they might say, it doesn't say that. Hold on. Let me get the page have many reference in the same time. So we can put it in the screen. And this is your Islamic page. It doesn't say that. For sure it doesn't say that. Hello. How embarrassing. This is brother Islamic website about the genie. عالم الجن برادر الطاعون وخز أعداءكم من الجن أخبرنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن فناء أمته بالطعن والطاعون The Prophet he predict that all Muslims will die by the plague or by war and he said, "What ta'un wakhzu a'da'ukum min al-jinn?" And the plague is 
the needles of the genie, who they are your enemy. Let me translate to English, and here you will see the reference. So most of them they will not say no zimi. It doesn't say that zimi. Translate to English. Mean, oh man, the plague is big by your enemy from the jinn. He here this translation is not coming correctly. Is like, you know, putting needles on you. Message of Allah said, Allah pray on him and salute him. Told us that the death of his nation either by stabbing or by plague. Like what? <laughs> I thought the plague is a punishment for the Chinese. Muhammad predicting that all of Muslims, with no exception, they will die by either stabbing or plague. Interesting. Interesting. Where is the reference? In the authority of Abu Musa, who is Abu Musa? Christian Prince, there is no in Islam an Imam, his name is Abu Musa. Huh? Who is Abu Musa? Musnad Ahmad, who is Musnad Ahmad? We never heard of Musnad Ahmad. Huh? The stab by your enemy from the jinn. Mean. They are causing stabbing by needles and that will cause you have a plague. And all the Muslims will die by plague. Mm. And you see here the reference. I mean, this is all reference, Islamic reference. Nothing to do with me. Ibn Hajar, etc. CCP. Do you think Ibn Hajar is two people or one people? <coughs> Ibn al Athir, you name it. However, the story is not over yet. You will not believe it that Muhammad, he prayed to Allah, asking him to kill all the Muslims by plague. Do you believe it? Yes, brother. He loved the Muslims very much. You know, the Muslims, they keep praying for Christians, Jews, Hindus to be killed by plague, by etc. Go and see the videos and see how many videos they have, you know, saying, may Allah kill the Christian, may Allah kill the Jews, may Allah kill the Hindus. But how you can explain to me the prophet of Allah praying, hoping that Allah will kill all the Muslims by the plague. Let us see the prayer so the Muslim will not say he's making things up. There's many reference, but I, you know, I, I, I uh, you know, I'm showing only uh, authentic, uh, let us say. This is the book of Al Isaba, the Ibn Hajar. The book of what? Al Isaba. No CP. Ibn Hajar don't have a book. It's called Al Isaba. Variant number seven, page number thirty-one. No CP. There's no page number thirty-one in that book. Hadith number nine six one one. No CP. There's no. I challenge you to show me this hadith. Uh, you know, liar. What the prophet he said? Call. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اجعل فناء أمتي قتلا في سبيلك بالطعن والطاعون <coughs> What? The Prophet praying to Allah asking him to kill all the Muslims by either stabbing or by plague. Google translates him, brother. From, 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 he said that the messenger, from, from, he said, hmm? he prayed to Allah that his nation will die by stabbing and plague. Now the translation is not coming really too much good. Hmm? What is this? How much he loves you, man. He wants you all to die by stabbing and by the plague. That's really surprising. 
This is a hate speech, brother. What if somebody, he pray for the Muslim to happen that to them? They will say it's a hate speech. Well, obviously, Muhammad, he hate you. Any Muslim who read Arabic, he is willing to say, it doesn't say that, CP. Anyone? I will put it for you in the screen. Any Muslim have an objection, and he is willing to say to me, it doesn't say that, CP. A bunch of heroes, keyboard mujahideen, speaker corner mujahideen. Qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma ja'al fana'a ummati qatla fi sabilika bit ta'ni wa ta'u. Who is mentioning those hadith? Any Muslim have an objection? So, look what happened now. We discover that the Prophet, he loved the Muslims to the point he is asking Allah to kill them all by plague. Claiming that plague is a mercy. Hold on. The Prophet, he said, that plague will never enter the city of al Medina. Hold on, hold on. But the city of al Medina have a plague many times. Actually, the last coronavirus, you know, found in Jeddah for those who did Hajj, and all of us, we knew that those who do this to, to Mecca, they go to al Medina. There is no single Muslim do Hajj. He don't go and visit al Medina, the grave of Muhammad, uh, you know, all those uh, places. The Middle Eastern coronavirus, first time was discovered 2012, during the Hajj, and a lot of Muslims, they die. But Muhammad he said that uh, this virus will never enter the city. Not only that, actually, very famous companions of the Prophet of Islam, they die by the plague. Let us see if we can find some hadith. Give me a second. Somebody saying he want to call. Please give me, my, my friend, I, I'm not really in the mood to, uh, to, to take calls today. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go soon. And you know what soon mean. When Christian Prince says soon, maybe this is 10 hours from now. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> I have to turn the light on here, man. I cannot see anymore. Suddenly this storm came and became so dark here. All right. Uh, let us see if we can find the hadith. Brother, I thought that did not happen, brother. Once I went to the Medina, to where? To a Medina, where? El Medina, where? Al Medina, where? Al Medina. No, CP. It doesn't say Al Medina, CP. Did you see, guys, the video I made yesterday for Adnan Rashid, the potato? They are slandering me in my back. Christian Prince, he use a bad language. <laughs> Why you don't dare to call him and ask him about it? Are you afraid? Potato. Once I went to Al Medina, where it was an outbreak of disease and people were dying rapidly. Dying what? Like what, what, what? But isn't it Muhammad? He said that uh, this disease will never enter the city of Al Medina. 
Let us see the hadith. Let me find it, brother. Here we go. How this guy, he said this. Few years after his death, the city of Al Madina was flushed by the plague. No, CP, it was not the plague, it was diarrhea. Oh, hold on, they were dying by diarrhea. Hello, guys, does it say that the Al Madina is protected by angels? So that plague and the jal, the jal supposedly this is the false messiah. They cannot penetrate on it. Even even when he speak about cities, he talk about penetration, intercourse. But look what the hadith says, brother. Brother, once I went. I went to Al Madina where there was an outbreak. Disease and people were dying rapidly. Do you see it? I rest my case. That's it. The Prophet, he knew what he's talking about. In Al Madina, there's no plague will enter it and protected by the angel of Allah. Actually, uh, one most like the most famous companion of Muhammad, they die by the plague. Do you believe it? Yes, brother. As an example, Abu Ubaid ibn Jarrah, and he was the ruler of Syria and Damascus. And 25,000 Muslims die from this plague only in one territory but as you see the Medina is infected heavily and not only they die by the way the translation is not really good the translation says they are dying rapidly, but the fact in Arabic it says, وَهُمْ يَمُوتُونَ مَوْتًا ذَرِيعًا What does ذَرِيعًا mean? It means ugly, disgusting, and so fast. This is how bad this disease. You get infected yesterday, the day after you are dead. Or a few days after maximum. So my brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad, he don't tell a lie. He made lies. He don't tell a lie. He is he fabricate. He is the manufacturer of lie. For sure, they will say this is not a plague. You know, plague in the definition de definition of them, their, their, their definition is any disease where it's spread. And all people have the same disease and die with it. This is what this disease is. It doesn't matter what the name actually. Any disease, and I can show reference from their books. I mean, potatoes. Look at you, all you know. Chicken, you know, they come to daddy. Now, how many of you is going to download this video and share it in your channel? Give me one if you are going to do so. Give me two if you don't want to do so. Let us see. How many of you want to download the video and share it in your channel? I mean, what you will lose? What you will lose? Really, what you will lose? Money? No. Does it cost you anything? No. It's for free and will bring you more subscribers. So why you don't do it? Right? Yeah, you know, there's many people, they are ignorant, they speak about this topic. As an example, there is a guy, his name, uh, what's his name? He's a Christian. I forgot, uh, uh, James White. He said that uh, the Arabian Peninsula was saved from the plague. I mean, this guy, he don't know what he's talking about. I feel sorry for him. Yes, he have a PhD, but when it's come to Islam, my friend, you are zero. As you say, come to me, come to daddy. You want to know about Islam? Come to daddy. 
You want to see who can get Muhammad busted left and right? Come to daddy. And now, as long we discover that the Prophet, he have all the knowledge is required to fight coronavirus. Let us celebrate, brother. Unbelievable. Yes, brother. Definitely. Coronavirus. He can fight coronavirus. He will go to heaven. Yes. If you have coronavirus, you go to heaven, brother. Yes, brother. The prophet says so, brother. It's a way, it's a mercy to go to heaven, brother. Absolutely. Definitely. Are you kidding me? For sure, this is it true. The prophet, he never lie, brother. Never, never. Me. Unbelievable. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Shake it, Prophet, shake it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to stop here. I have to stop here. You see, you Christians are jealous because the Prophet, he shake the world with his information and his knowledge. He shake the sun, he make it go in murky water. He discovered that the dog is a black dog, is a de devil. He discovered that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl and will look like the woman. And if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, will look like you. Very disgusting. He discovered things nobody knows. And then he discovered that plague is coming from the needles of the genie. How he knew that? I think the genie are taking drugs. Brother. And then he prayed to Allah to kill the Muslims by plague or by stabbing. How beautiful. How sensitive you are, Prophet. Thank you. I'm so honored to know about you. The Prophet, my friend. No one like him. And he promised us that the plague will never enter Medina. Let us go to Medina. Let us get, enter all those Chinese who they are sick with the plague. Put them in Medina. Plague gets stay, stay outside because the plague cannot get in. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? As long as the plague cannot get in, we'll get the Chinese inside the Medina, at least the Muslim Chinese. Forget about the, uh, the Kufar. If a Muslim Chinese, you have a plague, just get him inside the Medina, the plague have to leave. He cannot get inside with him. And then the person, he will be recovered, brother, immediately. Brother, if I'm a Muslim, I will celebrate. I will shake it. We can fight the plague. We can fight the plague. We can fight the plague. Yes, we can fight it. By the help of the knowledge of the Prophet. Hello. Yes, brother. Absolutely, brother. I agree, brother. It doesn't say that, CP. All right, all right. You guys are desperate. You see those kafar, they are desperate for music. The second you play music, they start shaking it. What's wrong with you? Show respect. This is knowledge. This is science. This is a pure science. I mean, what's wrong with you, those people? Just reopen the door and they are like, jim, jim, jim. Everybody's dancing. Like, I can see you. Look at that person. He's shaking the, the you know, his the chair. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, did you hear the thunder outside? I have a thunder. Uh, do you know that the prophet, he is the only one discover that the thunder is an angel? Yes, brother. 
And do you know that the prophet is the only one who discover that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? How the prophet knew this? Please stand up and pay respect to the prophet knowledge. How he knew that? And the Muslims, in order to fool us, in the translation, they say that it's uh, uh, he sent down from the sky hail like mountains. Have you ever heard of hail like mountains, you donkey? Why are you lying? Where, where, what like? It says he sent down from the sky hail from mountains in it. If you change the translator right away, you will see different translation. Potatoes. They are ashamed of their Quran. They are ashamed of their prophet. They try to... Uh, you know, Muhammad is like a person. Uh, he's like a diver and he's leaking from everywhere. He sent down from heaven. Mountain, where is hail? It doesn't even say that. It's not true too. Uh, let me show you. Brother, I mean, we are here to get them busted. Left or right. It doesn't matter who they are. <sighs> hmm. I'm waiting to the Jordanian government website to open. As usual, never happen. Let us see. Ah, I forgot to say, inshallah. This is why it's not opening. I want to show you from their interpretation in English, translated by them, published by them, and the scholars are them, saying it clearly. Like, come on, open the site, man. This website is not opening. Unbelievable, man. Oh, boy. I hope we will not lose electricity. It's not opening, guys. But anyway, I made many videos about it before. Maybe I should next time take a snapshot, save it on my computer, because this website is horrible. It's hard to open it. Right? But we hope it's going to open one day. One day. Walking down the street. La 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 la. La 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 la. Anyway, so did we learn a lot of things today? We did. I will try to come back online later, you know, but I have some stuff to do uh, for now. And uh, later I can mention about, uh, we can open this website and we can go. I'm afraid we lose electricity actually. You know, things going crazy here. I can't tell. Man, do you hear it? What is that? Man. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we go again, maybe later in a few hours from now, if I can. If I could, it's my pleasure to be with you. And this is a Christian prince who Muslim claim they damaged my reputation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nobody listened to me no more. To the point I opened the YouTube 20 minutes ago and I have 700 people listening. What if I stay for two hours more? Like, hello. To the point, uh, I'm not going to count how many points are there, but I'm going to say something to you very famous. Zachary Naik always he says, Sister, you get a point there. And I agree with you. You get a point. And I understand from the point of view you are talking about. In Islam, we don't have a woman to the Prophet. And the reason there's no woman in Islam to the Prophet, because if a woman to the Prophet, he have to do, would do and to do. And if you do to do, that would disturb the Muslim. Translation. And the funny, the Muslim, they, they complain about my English. Zachary Naik saying, a woman, she asked him, why in Islam there's no woman, she's a Prophet? He said, well, if a woman, she became a prophet, she have to bow down. If she bow down, every Muslim will look at her bum. May Allah bum you. So the reason a woman, she can't be a prophet is her ass. May Allah ask you one by one. Thank you guys for being here. I hope to see you soon. And until then, man, it's getting closer. I better go. Uh, Christ is Lord. And this is how we do it. Take care.